glimpse of stocking was looked on as something shocking. But now God knows anything goes. Once again, there was a beloved production 25 years ago with a wonderful design, and that featured the ocean liner head on. I'm designing Anything Goes in the context that there is that memory of that production. Bad today, and black's white today, and day's night today, when most guys today, the women prize today are just silly gigolos. As a child, my family had a, a friend, a writer named Walter Lord, who wrote A Night to Remember about the sinking of the Titanic. I have these memories of going to Walter's Upper East Side apartment. He had models of the Titanic, and all of the models featured the image of what the boat looked like from the side. I've always been taken with the kind of graphic quality of that, of the portholes and the smokestacks. This is one of those shows where I immediately knew that I wanted to play with that graphic quality. I wanted to play with the side elevation of an ocean liner. One of the things Kathleen was really excited about was the possibility of being able to do tap dance on a bunch of levels simultaneously. And so, you know, basically what I did was created about four different levels on which people could dance. Everything that happens on stage couldn't happen without an extraordinary team of talented and devoted and professional people. The whole piece takes place on a, on a ship, the SS American, and this is Derek McLean's award-winning set. This is Lord Evelyn's stateroom set, which uh, moves downstage. The staterooms are like a series of little boxes that come out, and they're small. And this bed is lifted straight out of a Hollywood movie from the 1930s. The bed is ultra firm. It's basically got a piece of plywood underneath it. It drives on stage as a track in the deck here. The stateroom uh, set that I showed you earlier that moves down onto the stage, that, that's, that all happens here, all these cables and wires. The nightclub steps that get used in Blow Gabriel Glow at the top of Act 2, and those are driven downstage on the same track that drives that stateroom. These things, which, which are part of the deck, open and close throughout the show, and they're also automated, so they're all, all that's run by the same computer. If you ever lose your mind... This is the porthole that Joel Gray makes his first entrance. If you ever lose your shirt, I'll be hurt. Hi, I'm Moonface Martin. You know, I very deliberately made the facade of the ship white, white, white. And what that lets us do is light the entire ship as a kind of cyclorama. It's a way that we're able to kind of focus in on the actors when we need to by bathing the entire ship in blue light or pink light or purple light, you know, whatever sort of works for a particular musical number. It feels very musical doing that, but it also then lets you pick out an actor with a follow spot out of this kind of solid blue psych behind them. For me, designing Anything Goes was to celebrate beautiful, strong, modern graphic. It evokes my childhood, and I guess I still feel that.